Hi everyone, welcome back to another video on my channel. Today you will have seen this probably a million times before. Everybody does this every single year. But I just thought, you know what? Not everyone would have been doing nail art this time last year. Like some of you might have started this year. Some of you might have been, I don't know, just for any reason not doing it. So I'm going to do it again this year just to jog your memory so you don't have to look back at old videos and stuff. I'm sure it's going to be everywhere again this year because it's the most popular way to do snowflakes ever. But also I just wanted to do it because I really wanted an excuse to use the gel that I'm using in this video. Um, if you watched a recent video of mine, like my client video of that gel polish application, you would have already seen this colour before. It is Starry Night from Gel Perfection. It is beautiful. I've got so many comments on that video saying how pretty the blue is and it really is. It's stunning. Um, but I'm going to take it up a level and I'm going to use a glamour gel over the top of it. So I'm going to pop this in the lamp. As you can tell from that coverage just then, you only need one coat of this colour. It is absolutely amazing. Um, it's just brilliant. Like It doesn't get much better than this coverage wise. You can see that I'm using a clear nail and it's still like perfect coverage so you can just imagine how even well it's obviously perfect on an actual nail that's got color underneath it so i'm just doing one coat of that on both of the nails and then i wanted to showcase this product because it's absolutely beautiful look at this oh, isn't it just magical look at it move this is a glamour gel from Brill Bird and it's just stunning. It is number five. And as you can see, it's this beautiful blue colour. So we're going to be using that as well. I've just got my cheapy um, Amazon nail art brush at the ready. I use this one. Let me just clean it. I use this one to apply my glamour gels. Every single time I use them, this is the brush that I use because you can't get them out with your brushes. So just bear that in mind if you do purchase them or have them. Um, and basically we're going to be doing some really super easy snowflakes and all you need to create them is a dotting tool and a liner brush that is it like they're so so easy and then obviously the color of the snowflakes that you're going to do um i'm doing mine in white just because that stands out i mean one snow is white so it sort of makes sense for a snowflake to be white not that it has to be you can do whatever color snowflakes you want but for this video i'm going to use white um, and then also white is going to be good for this video because the base is obviously going to be quite dark so it'll be much easier for you to see the colour on top of the blue. So now these are cured and they've come out of the lamp I'm going to go in with my glamour gel. I'm just going to get some of that on my brush. I've got to zoom you in for this. Look how beautiful it is. Honestly it's just look at that it's stunning it looks so so nice over this colour. Obviously if I didn't put this colour underneath it it wouldn't be quite so dark but I just, I wanted it to be nice and dark. I really, really love a deep blue at this time of year. I think it looks so effective and really, really wintry. So that's that, nice and smooth, very, very sparkly. Look at that. It's a bit of a flake sticking up there that I just wanna pat down, but look how beautiful that is. I'm trying to get the base as smooth as possible because it's gonna make doing the uh, snowflakes a lot easier as well let's zoom not zoom focus even but just look like these glamour gels honestly are just magical there is a red one as well which i highly recommend having in for christmas if you do clients nails because there's always going to be clients that want red at christmas let's be honest although saying that i actually did more this sort of color like dark blues and navy blues and stuff this time last year which was different, but I think people were just scared we were going to go into another lockdown again. They were going to be stuck with their bright red nails into January and February. So I think a lot of people played it a bit more safe last year and went for wintry nails over Christmas instead of actual Christmas. But I assume now we don't have that worry anymore that people will be going crazy red again, but we will see. But this is what it looks like. It's absolutely beautiful. I just can't, I can't give any other word for it other than that because it's just stunning. So I'm going to cure both of those. Um, I'm going to pop this away now because I only need one coat of it because that is also really good coverage, especially with the blue underneath it. I'm going to pop a bit of my white onto my palette, ready to use that for the snowflakes. So I'm going to do one nail with like big snowflake and then another the other nail with some smaller ones just so you can see how you can sort of mix and match the way of doing snowflakes with different sizes. So this one is now done um and we're gonna get straight into it so i'm just gonna get my dotting tool i'm gonna make sure it's clean for a start 
obviously you can use whatever size dotting tool you want i tend to just use a medium one for pretty much anything that i do if you pick more product off you can make the dots bigger if you put less pressure on you can make them smaller so it doesn't really matter on the size of the tool so i'm just going to put one dot here and then we're going to go above it below it so we're almost creating like a cross sort of effect first like so and then we're going to do another one at the bottom another one to the left there would be another one up here and there would be another one over here so basically one two three four five one two three four five with one in the middle and then we're going to just create another one here create like a square sort of effect between those ones super super easy i love this way of making snowflakes and it's really really effective so i'm going to get my liner brush now i'm just going to make sure it's clean of course before we start because i've just been filming some other videos i want to make sure there's nothing already on it and then all i'm going to make sure that i do is just run my brush so every single bristle is completely covered in white just realize it's not focused and then i'm going to run it through and just twist off all the excess basically because we're going to be using the dots themselves like as the polish so we're going to start by just going through the dots basically and meeting up with the other ones so straight through i do a couple and then take off the excess off my brush take the excess off How easy is that? It's crazy how easy it is. And then at this point, you can leave it like that or you can add some extra bits and bobs. So I'm just going to add some extra. So we're just going to create something totally random now. I'm going to go in with some extra lines here and there just to spice it up a little bit. You don't have to do this. And I must say, the closer you put the dots together, almost the more effective it is. I just wanted to put them far away so you could see exactly what I was doing at first. And you don't have to do this bit either. You can just leave it as is. Just make it much quicker, obviously, to leave it as it was before. But I'm just going along with it, see what we come up with. a bit wobbly definitely just made it worse but we're going to ignore it and pretend it's perfect okay and then just keep looking at it and deciding if you want to do any more i'm going to do another one going up this one So that would usually be about here and there, and up here. And then down there. And then I think I'm gonna leave it like that because if I go too crazy, I'll end up hating it. But I think I am gonna do Hmm. Just another small one here. Just because that looked a bit bare. I'm going to leave it like that. So I'm going to do actually i'm going to get a really small dotter now and i'm going to use that to create some line some some lines some dots even on the ones that i haven't done anything with just some little ones i think too crazy like 
like so. And I'm going to do some little tiny dots on the end of those lines that I just created as well. I really love dots. I think dots in any way, shape or form, for any sort of design, just bring it together. I love them. Some of my clients are really funny because when I finish their nails, I'll be looking at them thinking, hmm, they need something more. And even my clients will be like, you want to add dots, don't you? And I'll be like, yeah. Yep, I absolutely do want to add dots. And they're like, yeah, go for it. <laughs> so there we go. That's that snowflake we're going with. I'm going to pop that into the lamp while we do the other one. I'm not going crazy with this one. I am literally just going to do, do them how I was planning on showing them to you, basically. So we're going to go in again to our white. I'm going to do it a bit smaller this time. So we're going to go... I'm going to do one here. So starting off, one in the middle, two on the side, basically. One in the middle, two either side. And then two above and two below and then make your square and that's that it is that easy again taking off the excess off my brush and then just going straight through all of those dots definitely got to be like the easiest way ever of doing the snowflakes look at that so so easy then we'll do another one here one two three one two three super simple because you've not got a load of space so that one will stay like that. And then we'll do another one up here. One, two, three. Get one there. And then one, two. One here. One there. Down the middle. Can get a little bit off there. Cross to the side. Diagonal. Like that so so easy look how effective that looks so we're going to pop that into the lamp i think you know i need one here just pull that down there a bit that's better now we're going to pop that one into the lamp this is what this one looks like very extra wasn't planning on it at all but i love dots like i literally just think they make everything so much better um but obviously the bigger the dots like the, you can make bigger dots smaller dots like larger like if you put more space in between them you've got more space to mess around like we do on this one or if you put them closer together like the other nail you know there's just so many different ways you can do it i absolutely love this method so i'm just going to top coat them now just got that all over me don't recommend that off asap And then they are done and I will show you what they both look like when they've been top coated. So here is the finished result. I absolutely love how they turned out. That blue is honestly just so stunning. You definitely need the glamour gels in your life. They're just beautiful. Um, but yeah, let me know whether this is the way that you do snowflakes or if you've got an even easier way. Try and explain that in the comments for anyone that needs help. To, to be honest with you, personally... I just stamp snowflakes. You can get so many different ones in stamping plates. But obviously, I understand that not everyone can stamp because it's one of those things that takes a while to perfect. And if you're still in that process, it's nice to have something that's super quick to do hand painted. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll be back really soon with another video. Bye.